So this is past paper question 28 of the past paper below and also part of the playlist on my channel. Now we need to work out the value of cos of 30 times sine of 45 times tan of 60 all squared. And as the title says, this is really a sine, cos and tan values question because the way you tackle this question is by subbing in the values of cos of 30, sine of 45 and tan of 60. Now for the exam, because I believe this is a non-calculator one, you may just have to memorize these values. I believe you're expected to memorize cos of 30, sine of 30, tan of 30 and then I think again the same for 45 60 maybe 75 and then 90 I believe now I know that's a high ask but I guess that's why it's the final question in the paper so we take our multiplication here and then we sub in the values so cos of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2 sine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2 and then tan of 60 is the square root of 3 now we can simplify that to 3 times the square root of 2 over 4 on the bottom 2 times 2 is 4 and on the top square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 and then that's going to be 3 times the square root of 2 all squared still because it's all square it's just itself times itself so we can rewrite it like this and from there on the top it would be 9 times 2 that's because 3 times 3 is 9 and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2 on the bottom we have 16 because it's 4 times 4 and then this is going to be 18 over 16 and it doesn't say to simplify but we can simplify so I've simplified to 9 over 8 and that's the final answer so that's the last question of this past paper I appreciate that is potentially quite a tough question if you don't have the values with you if you do have any comments or questions you can leave them down below best of luck with your maths and thanks for watching.